Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is uh, totally unexpected because I got my hands on three shades of the new Hourglass Unreal liquid blushes. This is what I have on my cheeks. So if you are interested in uh, them, please keep on watching. I get my hands on uh, three of the new shades of the liquid blushes and we are going to try them today. I will insert some pictures and some swatches uh, here from uh, the website, from All Glass website. Uh, today it's available also on their website and I think in Sephora US. Um, but yeah, soon will be available at Sephora Scandinavia also. I saw the display in store, but they were not present yet. So I have here three shades. I have here Vision, Future and Whim. Whim, it is described as a bright pink and I have it here. I will just swatch and apply a little bit on the back of my hand. This is how Wim looks. Uh, they are very pigmented and very, very creamy uh, and the color, it is beautiful. I will first apply Wim. I will take it with an hourglass double-ended brush. I will just uh, prime the brush let's say and I will apply it on my face uh, I'm wearing on the face this from Lisa Eldridge this is her uh, skin tint and this is um, like the most that I'm using now in the summertime so let's apply Wim with the brush okay this is beautiful so this is described as a bright pink Usually pinks on me don't look good, uh, but this one, this, this I like. This I, it is something that I wear. On me, it looks, um, I will say a little bit peachier, not pink. I hope you can see. Uh, with a brush like this, it applies beautifully. Uh, very, very. I don't know. It gives like a beautiful luminosity. And uh, you saw how pigmented I took too much on with my finger. Uh, for this, I mean, you can, <laughs> uh, you don't need that much. I just apply for you to see how this will look on the hand. And here, and if I were to uh, build it more, which I don't need. But this is a beautiful bright pink. I wouldn't say, I mean... It is described as a bright pink, but on me it looks a little bit, I don't know, peachy, maybe coral. I do have another uh, blush that is described like coral. Um, so I don't know what this, this I can work with. This is, I think, the first pink blush uh, that actually I like on my skin tone and how it looks on me. Uh, but yeah, so this was Wim, the first uh, blush that I have swatch in here i mean the formula it is really nice very very creamy and very very pigmented it is liquidy but um i don't know liquidy and thicker in the same way i don't know how to describe it uh and definitely the pigment it is here uh the other one i will apply first directly on the face just to see how pigmented if i were to apply like let's say like a dot i do have vision and future vision it is described as a true rose and future it is described as a warm coral and i will take future because i'm very curious to see compare with this bright pink whim shade um so i will take it with my finger and I'll apply it um, let's say directly on the face so this is described this is future this one from here described as a warm coral and now let's try to blend it with the finger now definitely from the start, I will say that I prefer the brush application, but you can work also with the finger, I think. You can see how much still I have in here, and these are pigmented. 
So this is future compared with WIM. This is future, a warm coral. This is how it looks on my finger. Definitely now I can see that this is a pink. And I just added a little bit more and try to blend it. So you can blend it with the finger. These are beautiful. I mean, definitely um, travel friendly because they can be very easy applied with the finger. And the only thing is that you need something to remove what you have on the finger because, yeah, it doesn't leave a stain or anything. What I like that it's blending and it doesn't leave like stain or something from the dots that I apply first. So this is really really nice now i don't know how this wears i just got them uh, a few hours ago uh, i don't know how this will wear they apply beautifully with a brush with the finger um, now definitely i love this but i love more the future shade uh, the warm coral it definitely it is more my shade but this definitely it is a pink that actually I can work with this and I can make it work for my skin tone even now when I'm 10 usually a pink blush a pink blush will not look good on me but this one it is really really beautiful when you first apply um, it's it has like a beautiful luminosity to it like a shine um, these are still wet now this is dry um or i think it is dry it's non-sticky now it became it's not fully matte i wouldn't say it is a full matte uh blush got my laptop here to read a little bit about this blush so it is said that it's a liquid blush that visibly plumps with hydration and delivers unreal buildable color for a natural finish that stays in place up to 12 hours so this is supposed to last on you 12 hours for a natural finish. Definitely this gives a natural finish. Very easy to use. They blend beautifully with a brush with a finger. Uh, infused with our Unreal Lifting Complex, this serum-like form, uh, formula. So um, it is a serum formula. Instantly hydrates to plump and visibly uh, firm for smoother looking skin all day. Upon application, the silky texture effortlessly melts into the skin to instantly lifts cheeks with color. Uh, okay, I don't feel it on the... It's very lightweighted. Um, so they say they have like innovative packaging with a dropper. You have to push from the top uh, to get um, like a drop exactly to customize how much quantity you want from there. Uh, I saw it in store, but this is nice. So definitely um, on my cheeks now we have Wim and we have Future here. This is a bright pink and this is a warm color. Now for the first time, I do like a pink color on me. The warm color, it is always welcome <laughs> to have a blush um, because I do love coral blush or orangey blush. Uh, on the summer especially this gave me like a very juicy natural look once it's set it's non-sticky whatsoever it looks beautifully uh, it's not patchy um, it works beautifully with the skin tint um, now I don't wear foundation just because uh, it is very warm but I think this will also look beautifully uh, with foundation under. I do have enough here for another video if you want or for a short uh, if you want for me to try it with a foundation under. But this is beautiful and these are the colors because I will take it off and I will apply the other shade that I have, Vision. And Vision, it is a true rose color. And I remove the first two blushes and now we'll apply Vision, which is a true rose color. I will swatch it first on my hand for you to see how it looks. I think this will look beautiful on deeper complexion. So this is Vision.
this vision i will take it with a patmograph blush brush and i will prime the brush let's say and i will apply it on the cheeks this definitely it is for like deeper skin tones really pretty okay this is beautiful to be honest i am very impressed with the formula uh, now i love very much the hourglass uh, powders and face palettes you know i'm a huge fan of their holiday palettes and um, their usual blushes but i did not expect to like so much this formula um, now uh, i think we ha have a lot of blushes coming out on the market uh, especially cream blushes liquid blushes and um, it's like overwhelming with all this news and uh, yeah I also went in store and swatched some Huda Beauty and House Labs um, like blushes to see how the formula is. But this, this, this is stunning. So this is Vision. It's a true rose color. Um, definitely, you can build this up. Um, now I apply it in a like a sheer way. I can build a little bit more this one so I can build a little bit more this one just for you to see um, how intense pigmented these are you can build the color off definitely these are not like rare beauty I mean they are pigmented but um, just you can work with a dot or two uh, apply it and then from that you can build it up now these are this blends like a dream no we wish you with that you can see here light weighted this uh, vision which is a true rose and here it's like too heavy for me but i wanted for you to see how this color would look if you were to build it up like if you have deeper uh, skin tones um, i think and for sure this will look great uh, also on deeper complexion now our glass also released two deeper shades imagine and uh, craft one is imagine it is like a terracotta blush uh, and craft it's a rich berry that ones i really think that are uh, dedicated i mean you can work with it i think but i think are more dedicated for deeper skin tones now the terracotta one i really wanted and i really want to buy um i couldn't find it uh, to take a sample but for sure it is on my list to buy it uh, i'm always for a terracotta blush a good terracotta blush and this is yeah uh, so these are the shades that i have in here i hope this uh, helps uh, now these are available as i told you at uh, hourglass website um they launch it today and in sephora uh, us i think they are available to shop in the app i don't know if they are available online um, like uh, from the your laptop uh, but yeah as soon as this will be available at sephora scandinavia i will let you know if you are subscribed to my channel you'll get uh, like an announce from me when these are launched uh, when they are available so yeah i always post it on my uh, youtube page um, on instagram or so uh, so yeah this was everything for today now i am impressed with the formula i really like it i don't feel i have anything on my face to be honest this looks very fresh definitely very summery this future which is a warm coral this is whim which is a bright pink and this is vision which is like a true rose color which i have now here on this cheek i have it lightweighted applicated like i will wear it and this is boiled up for you to see the color and the intensity and i think you can build it more than this i will not build it more just because i will look like a clown um, but love the formula very lightweighted um, so this is supposed to be like 12 hours wear blush it has skincare in it very lightweighted 
um, and um, like first impression I don't know how this will wear but first impression and application I love it very much I did apply with this kind of uh, fluffy brush applies beautifully without patchiness without anything it didn't remove the skin tint under I don't know it just looked beautiful and even with the finger I blend it it doesn't uh, remain spots or anything so it's up to you what um, kind of method you choose I don't think with a sponge will be the best application just because I think these are a little bit liquidy between a liquid and thicker I don't know it's not very watery which is nice um, but I do like very much how this feels so these are the three shades uh, that I have I'll make a pictures and write uh, the names uh, and insert it somewhere here for to see it better uh, but yeah I hope this video helps um, this was everything for today's video uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments I will link um, everything what I am wearing in the description box if you shop to my links it really helps my channel so thank you for that um, and um, yeah I hope this was helpful Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.